All right, thank you. Uh, thank you for the organizer. Um, I'm Chen Lei Wu from uh, Scripps, uh, San Diego, California. And so, um, if you, if like in uh, in our group, we have uh, like a couple of like a keyword to, to describe what we do. And if you heard of my talk before, you probably know like we talk, we deal with a lot of about like a API, specifically like a REST API. We have a project called Biosense API. And another keyword will be the JSON LD, JSON for linked data. We because we like to develop some uh, technology to help the most of people who are not very familiar with semantic web. Uh, but who can build the REST API, connect them to the rest of the like, semantic web uh, work. And we think the JSON-LD is the right way to, uh, to do that. It's the right technology, at, at least for the, for, the, for the current stage. So now we, uh, this one, we want to uh, bring another component to, to what we are doing. And we think it's very important to reach that uh, particular goal. And it's talk about as a particular like, the schema. And because the JSON-LD requires a schema behind the scene, to link the actual JSON-based data to the semantic web. So that's why we want to develop a tool called uh, Schema Playground to support the, uh, this kind of application. Okay, so um, first of all, when we talk about schema, and we talk with a lot of groups who try to help them to, hey, can we standardize the data schema? Can we work together with you, come up with some common schema? And so oftentimes we talk with them and one question will be, can you show us the, what's your data schema? So we will get a response something like this. Some, oftentimes this is not even in a structured form. Maybe they will show you like a, um, my, like a simple database schema image. That's it. So for example, this is like a very complicated one. That's not very helpful. And sometimes it's just like a Word file, PDF file, HTML file. And that's... It's, it's okay for people to look at it, but it's not a very program, um, like a accessible by the by the uh, your code. So the next one is slightly better is maybe it's a, a list at least a list in Excel or uh, Google spreadsheet. That's uh, maybe we can write a code to extract that, and that's slightly better. And then now nowadays, probably there's a more like structured form. For example, more popular like a JSON a JSON schema, XML schema, RDF schema. One special format of the RDF schema is a schema of the work. So that's a much better way. We will uh, encourage people to represent their schema. Okay, so um, now, now then for the other case, for the developer, they have the need, when they start a new program, we hope, we want them to start some, build some schema, build, build upon the, like some existing one. First, they need to find out what they are, this existing one. That's basically the problem I've showed the last slide. But next one, once they find something, how can they build their own state schema based on the uh, existing one? That's the way we want to um, help that process. Right now, there's a, like, there's a schema.org work, there's also bioschema.org, and it can help them to uh, at least to have some base class, a base data model to start with. Um, okay, so one particular use for us, one motivating, motivating uh, point for us is really we have a use case from the so-called like a cd Twitch project. That's uh, Basic a data coordination center for the, all this uh, called like a CTSA uh, center. That's like a national, um, I think it's around 50, 60 uh, center around the US and talk about like a translational clinical data, data hub. So we have the task as a data coordination center to organize all those centers, make them data set, data more available and more like a cross the hub, they can be more interpol. So, um, one type of the use case is a, a lot of sites actually there's a need to build their own data portals. One, one thing will be um, oftentimes we have the, like they, they want to build a new, new, plan, a new project, but it want us to help them to so that they can, they can build their data schemas, um, build their data schema based on some community standard. So it's representing a good way so that they don't really worry about like later converting their uh, SQL database schema to like, uh, my, uh, like the schema.org compatible data, data set and metadata, something like that. So we want to help them to do the right thing, follow the best practice at the beginning. So that's one motivating, um, uh, motivating uh, um, use case for us. So then uh, we talk about this use case with a lot of the developer in those centers. One thing is like, a, for them, they also have their own need. And to make their data interoperable, that's just like a one thing they care about. Another thing is really care about when they develop an application, they need to 
and for example, define the what's the entity they want to support, and define the what's the validation because validation is really important. Sometimes those are the very the things they care about for their own uh, own data. Maybe not too much about the data uh, they want to share across the site. So that's one thing. Typically, right now there's a technology like JSON schema for JSON data, I mean, it's Shaco Shacks for the um, for the RTF data, and so. Um, so we want to combine the, like almost like this two type of needs together. One is the validation, all the all the needs they need to use for their own application development. On the other hand, we want to help them to de design the schema at the beginning to make the schema more interpretable at the at the like a starting point. So that's kind of a two things, right? And if you are JSON, you probably have a needs to combining the JSON schema and the like for example schema.org based on schema together. That's also the use case Simon mentioned in, in your uh, in your presentation. Okay, so we start to develop those uh, this tool to help this process called like schema playground. One thing is that we want to see okay, and uh, let's just uh, make make things easier to for people to find the schema, and at least uh, like like there's a place to people can visualize, see what the, this schema is, and so that they can build it upon them. Uh, as long as like an existing one, that's one thing, and this is like a more for like a visualization and a search what's available from those schemas. And second one is really help of the, uh, the tool to extend the existing one. That's the schema editor. We develop it like as an editor behind the scene, so that can help people to develop their own, for example, metadata standard, a metadata um, like data set, of metadata data model built built on top of the what's existing from the schema that work. At least those basic field will be based on the uh, existing one. On top of that, they can build them uh, specific field for their own application needs. Okay, and also um, uh, we with that we can enable all this like a JSON LD based the use case. I won't go into the too much of the details here, um, and also since we talk about like a lot of the use case, actually you need to combine the JSON schema and the and the schema .org based schema. Uh, like a, that's basically like the RDF schema. So uh, we start to exp uh, um, test some way so that we can combine these two together. So this is just a one simple way. Of course, there will, there could be like the pro and the con, but the different ways. And I think that will be a very good topic to discuss at this hackathon. But at least this one is the one we start to test out. And so first, of all, this is like a, basically the, exactly the same like schema.org. JSON LD representation, right? And you can see there's a, I don't know if I highlight, no, I didn't do the highlight, yeah, okay. So you can see there's a, like a validation here directly embedded the, like a JSON schema into the JSON LD uh, representation. So at least the one advantage of this is we don't really need to care about the how to invent the new field into the uh, schema.org JSON LD to represent and convert to the valid JSON schema. It's just a valid JSON schema directly embedded into the uh, JSON LD definition of the schema.org schema. So that's that's uh, that's one way we go with for the moment. Yeah, and we also have a, a Python package to help to process this kind of a schema. And also our um, viewer can view this type of a schema as well. So um, overall, I think for for me for at this by Hackson, one goal is to work with the community here because here has a lot of a semantic web ex expertise here. And talk about the how. What is the best way to represent like the JSON schema validation rule together with the JSON together with the schema.org based, uh, based like this more semantic aware uh, data model? That's kind of a two needs. How can we, how can we develop uh, like a best practice for that? So that's one. And another is coordinated with the existing uh, bio schema effort. And maybe we can talk about supporting more use case, more schema types, and also discuss the more like a downstream applications. For example, we care, really care about the JSON-LD based API annotations and all the like, data set as discovery use cases. Those are all the good use cases we can work on at this schema, uh, at this uh, by Hacksaw. All right, that's my last thing. Thank you. <laughs>